Hi, Tim. It is the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Yes, are you ready for our call? Oh, great, Kathy. All right, Kathy's here too. Good. Hi, Kathy. How are you? All right. All right, so you guys are, are looking at a couple franchises. Oh, first, uh, thank you so much for purchasing the Ultimate Online Franchise course. I, I hope you uh, have been... Yeah, good, you're using it. Good, good, good. Yep. Yeah, I know all those questions that, that you're going to use for your research. Yep. Yep, there's like 45 of them, I think. Good, good. You know, it's hard. There's so much crap online and, and so many people that... Uh, uh, tell you that they could help you uh, with franchising, etc. And they have the best ways. And the, well, anyway, I really do think that the the questions um, that I've included for you to do your research with um, really are worth more than the price of admission for the course. So thank you for that compliment. And yeah, use those questions. You know, are you at that stage yet? Are you at the research stage? Almost. Okay, good. All right. Well, tell me what uh, where you're at and what you're looking at. All right, so you're looking at a sign franchise, all right, and senior care. All right, good. Uh, both are, are really popular. I would say uh, at least 30% of the people I talk to are looking at senior care, and I, I'm very familiar with the sign business. I've worked with them before, so I understand uh, both, both franchise models. All right, so how did you find those? Through a broker. Okay, good. All right, so you're working with a franchise broker, he or she. He, all right, and how do you like them? Good, all right, so so far so good, all right, good. All right, so tell me uh, what you think of the two opportunities you're looking at and why why you like them or dislike them. All right, all right, yeah, the sign business uh, can be a fun business for sure, so you like that and you, you like the fact that, that you can involve Kathy and, and maybe your, your son in the business, all right. Yeah, a sign business can actually make a really good family business. All right, good. I like that. So what is your attraction to senior care? Right, the demographics. Absolutely. Uh, we're all getting older. Not me, of course, but uh, we're all getting older. And I understand uh, why you'd want to capitalize on the growing senior population by owning a senior care franchise. All right, good. All right, real quick. Just tell me um, uh, your background, Tim, so I understand, you know, where you're coming from. All right, so VP of Operations at a manufacturing facility. All right. You guys are in Idaho, right? Okay, yeah. All right, so go on. Right, all right, so you lost your job six months ago. You've been looking around. How is the job market looking these days? All right, all right, so you have a couple... Irons in the fire. I, I understand that. All right. Um, so here's the deal. You are looking at two franchise opportunities that are going to require a lot of heavy duty sales activities. And I want to know how you feel your sales strengths are. All right. All right. So you've never, never formally sold. All right, that, that's fine. But you sell, right, we all sell uh, day to day in our business, in our lives, uh, whether we're convincing someone to do something uh, personally or whether we're trying to maybe get someone hired on that we like and we have to kind of sell it to our, our manager. Okay, understood. All right, so what, uh, what are your thoughts about actually getting in and out of your car a few days a week um, calling on, on potential clients and customers. Can you easily visualize yourself doing that? All right, so we get a maybe. Kathy, what do you think? Can you, can you visualize Tim uh, being a sales guy as, as a huge part of, his, of, of your, your franchise? All right, so you can, but you're not quite sure. All right, well, obviously, Tim, you're very personable. You're good on the phone, et cetera. But the, if I can be blunt, uh, can you be a tiger? Uh, can you really go after business? Because in, in the sign business, people are not coming in to see you. You know, it looks kind of like a retail store because you might be in a strip center. Uh, but you're, you're the walk-in traffic really isn't going to amount to more than pennies. You really have to go out and find big clients that you can engage with all year long. Uh, and, and senior care, 
Same kind of thing. Um, it turns into a referral business, but you have to go out and sell your services to get the referrals. For instance, you might work with a hospital administrator. Uh, you might work with uh, a nursing home, uh, maybe uh, an attorney that specializes in elder care. Anyway, you're going to want referrals from those folks because that's really how you're going to build your, your client base. So uh, again, the question is, do you want to be doing that? And can you see yourself doing that? Maybe. Maybe is, is all right, I'm going to be blunt again. I'm not known for uh, holding back. Uh, a maybe is going to be a problem. Uh, you really have to be convinced that, that you can sell and, and that you will have the energy to go out and do this every day. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to service any senior care clients and you're not going to be able to sell any signs. I mean, these are, these are competitive businesses and you need to really have the right personality and the right mindset for it. Can you and will you do it? Well, then we need to talk some more. All right. I am Joel Lababa. I'm the Franchise King, which is why there's a crown floating across your screen. And that was just one example. All right, we'll talk to you later. There was one example of uh, what my franchise ownership consultation calls really consist of. People are calling about all sorts of things. They have all sorts of questions. Maybe they're working with a broker and they want to make sure that, that their interests are really being, being watched. Um, they might have found a couple franchises on their own and just want a second opinion. Um, they might have questions about research and, and really how to get franchisees to talk 